Hey everyone, welcome back. Going back to the arena, we're gonna practice some more, and we're gonna go back to the novice arena specifically. Alright. Today's name, never learn. Because no matter how much no matter how much practicing I do, I never get any better. Alright. Um So weapon wise, what should we go with today? Um you know what, I actually want to start with the one-handed sword and the shield. I don't know, as much as I enjoy the two-handed sword, and you know I do, I don't know, I, it's it's probably always a better idea to be using a shield. Considering, I don't know, it just it helps cover my ass when I'm not paying attention, which is like all the time. Oh yeah. I really, I really love the when I duck for an overhead and then the enemy's attack swings right over my head. Feels very, feels very Van Dam, and I enjoy it. All right, so slightly better armor. Emphasis on slightly. There's that, there's that move again. I love it. Trying to really put some force into these swings here, but as usual, it's difficult for me to figure that out. Yeah, see that? Hmm, that's interesting. See, that shield is a real pain in the ass. It's the same shield I have, obviously. But, I had most... I had, most of my luck came from uh, thrusts in that, in that case, so I need to remember that. Thrusts seem to do a little better. Hey, let's, uh, let's put on a pink shirt instead of a brown one, just so we look like a damn fool. Right. If some beast were to come along and eat me, I would be watermelon flavored, according to my color scheme right now. You know, that'd be nice if the if the blood decals would appear on the ground. I mean, I, <clears throat> it is glorious how it appears on the body and how it kind of goes spraying out. But I would really like it if it would pool on the ground. That would be, that would be sweet. Longer than perhaps I might have liked, but whatever. Um, I think it's time we replace the pink shirt. There we go. Oh, that's great. Now we're candy cane flavored if someone eats us. The other person with the shield is that maybe we should be thrusting more here, but my thrusts are not doing anything so far. My overhead got her leg somehow, but I'll take it. Oh, 
So usually you can, there we go, you can thrust and stab underneath the shield a lot of the time. So, whoops, that's what I need to be focusing on. Alright. Waistcoat, fan braces, obnoxious boots, and a slightly bigger shield. I think it's slightly bigger, I can't even tell really. Since it's a different shape and all. Just trying to get in there and stab him before he could land that attack, but obviously it did not work. belt a black shirt hey we'll take that that's a little more stylish a little more in my uh, in my idiom <laughs> and yeah what the hell you look a little more professional now of course we are not doing so well health wise Again, I'm trying to, there we go, stab in the, the legs underneath her shield. Just gotta do whatever it takes. Ah, oh, shit. I've said it before, but I really wish that there was a, a kick. You know, some way to... Some other way aside from overheads to, to try and knock your opponent down. Knock him over, you know what I mean? Or maybe if you could, like, I don't know, like, tackle him. I know that's getting into a little, it's a little ridiculous, but I think that would be sweet. Alright. So... Yeah... What the hell, let's just use the same setup again right now. much more force into it. Oh crap. That was not supposed to happen that way. Trying to stab the legs here. Oh, fuck. would have ended this, I believe, if it would have landed. Missed it again. There we go. Nice. Oh, 
Well, that thrust did land, according to the sound the guy made, even if it didn't look like it. Damn it. I really want to land an overhead here. Damn. Do it the old fashioned way, with a slash. got the stab to the leg. Ooh. The stab to the groin probably did not feel good. Really? Are you serious? How many times do I have to stab her? That was nice. Now it would be ideal if I stay really close to him and keep thrusting because of the difference in our range. Of course all of that stuff is easier said than done. I don't want to, I don't know, I don't want to do an overhead and then miss and be left wide open. Shit. Maybe we gotta try it. Hey, there we go. Alright. And we're back to this. I cannot stab this lady in the legs to save my life. That was not good. That fucking shield is just impenetrable and Im it's impassable. So that's going to be a dead end each time we go up against it, unless we find a different weapon. Hmm. Alright, as much as I was enjoying this setup, we got to try something different, and there's really no option here, other than this, the two-handed sword, because all these other weapons have, well, they have problems. In, well, when I use them, anyway. Serious? Give me red damage for that such bullshit.
I think in general going up against someone with a shield, my best bet's gonna be thrusts like that. Especially because the left to right swing, as I've explained a trillion times, is really hard to pull off in the heat of combat. nice. See, now that would have been sweet if I could have uh, knocked her off her feet somehow. Ah, oh, there we are. That's nice. Let's thrust to the face. I've got to really start figuring this timing thing out. Basically what I'm trying to do is thrust in the middle of her attack. Of course I jumped the gun there. kind of hard for me to move around effectively when I'm doing a thrust because I'm holding down the damn button for it. And it's the button I would normally be using to move around over here. Anyway, that's over. So we're definitely going to take that sword. Thank you very much. Oh, that should have definitely been a landed thrust there. I don't know what happened. Oh, great. Oh, wonderful. Well, we're getting nowhere. I don't think I've landed a single hit yet. Yeah, we're gonna get beaten without landing a single fucking hit. That's pathetic. It's always good to end an episode on a horrible note like this, because then it makes me feel like I didn't do anything right the whole time. Never ends on a high note. Kind of like life. <laughs> no matter what you say, life always ends up with you, uh, you know, lying in a grave. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. We, I thought we did... I don't know. I thought we did a decent job until this last... Well, every time we went up against her, we did not do a decent job. But whatever, who gives a shit? So, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoy this, and we'll see you next time for some more Xanima.